What the fuck? What the fuck? Ugh. <sighs> that did not go well. That did not go well. Day five was not a great day. Would not recommend. If you have a chance to skip day five, skip day five. Not fun. So we had a second swap today. Um, that means that green party was no longer green party. Um, Jack and Lady K were the two uh, captains and they picked and essentially the entire party was old green party plus Jack. Not fun, as we soon found out. Because um, I sucked in the exemption challenge. I will be 100% honest. I did not do well at that slide puzzle. Jack really helped. I mean, we still lost by four minutes, and I'm sure that a large reason for that was because of me. I take accountability for that. I told people that. But um, yeah, it seemed pretty clear cut. It was going to be a five to one vote. And then Jack played a compass. It's like the worst possible scenario could have happened. And it did happen. Zianya went, someone who I was very close to, someone who I wanted to work with. I wanted it to be all five Green Party till the end. Now I have some uh, relationships to build with people outside the Green Party. Sucks, but I'll do it. <sighs> then Mike, Mike tried to fucking play a steal vote after the votes have been read, which Mike, that's not how that works, which it was a nice effort. I wish it had, it had actually been done, but ugh, yeah, this sucks because now we're stuck with Jack who feels like Everyone, he knows everyone voted for him, which good that proves that everyone is still loyal from the old Green Party. But not only do we still have Jack, but now we have Randy. Which, again, maybe I can make amends with him. I don't know. Which, he doesn't even know that there are amends to be made. But maybe I can schmooze. I don't know. I'm so sad that Zianya is gone. Zianya, when you see this, know that you are a wonderful human being and I'm so happy that we met and I hope that we stay friends because you are just amazing and you have really great taste in music too so but at least we know that Jack doesn't have his compass anymore I don't know we'll see what tomorrow's um exemption challenge brings I'm kind of annoyed right now I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm annoyed. I'm glad that Lori is still here. I'm glad that Greg is still here. I'm glad that Mike is still here. I'm obviously so fucking thankful that I'm still here because obviously, you know, if Jack was willing to vote out or get rid of and abandon Zianya, then he could have easily done the same thing to me because I'm not from his original party, so. I don't know. I have a lot of thinking to do. It's gonna be really interesting how everything plays out. Glad I'm still here. Fuck day, fi day five. Fuck you, day five. Fuck you, day five. I'll say it again. And now I have to listen to Randy talk more. God damn it. mind blown jack coming through with a compass a second compass this time um negating every vote against him um and sending zianya home honestly like as we were waiting for jonathan to read jack's vote my heart was pounding um because i had talked with jack about you know going after david or zianya and keeping with the original coach party um but like never reconnected with him um, so I'm glad he saw something in me to not want to get me out. Um, but definitely probably lost some trust with him there. Although, uh, I'm probably like maybe somewhere in like the neutral zone for him, uh, only because of how bad Mike just flubbed at that, uh, crossroads trying to play his steal a vote after Jack already cast his vote. Um, so that, uh, was a little bit of a comedy of errors and I'm assuming he's going to come try to come back to bite Mike a little bit. Um, he's going to have to make up some ground with Jack. Um, oh man, like a lot to talk about, uh, the swap, 
um, was kind of expected only because I didn't expect it. And when I don't expect things, they happen. Um, so with our, the, the green party pretty much stuck together um, after Jack, our captain picked one of us. Um, so it kind of like made a decision a little too easy but then i feel like that gave jack all the time in the world to be looking for a compass when we were all like kind of like being a little lazy about the game so um yeah it's it, it's kind of like a kick in the pants to be like like get your shit together because there's people who are playing this game really hard um you know downside for jack is that now he's like clear threat enemy number one um perhaps not right away but um you know he definitely has a huge target on his back two compasses at his first two crossroads like that's going to be very dangerous down the road he's kind of like i said it in my voting confession like he's the jack of all trades like he he's just like good at everything um and I, I've played games with people like him before who've done really well. Um, and they were always like my final obstacle to try to get rid of. Um, and in some cases I was able to do it. In some cases I was not. Um, this is one of those cases where like I need Jack to be out of this game sooner rather than later. Um, because I don't think he serves me. Um, I don't want to like hide behind him as a big threat because I don't want to be too closely associated with him because if people are afraid about going after Jack, then they're going to go out, go after who he's aligned with. Um, now we have Randy uh, on our party. He came, he was not picked during the swap. So he went to the summit. So he's probably coming back with something um, besides the fact that he was just immune from the final 13 vote. So, uh, you know, that's 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 kind of scary because now like we almost have to assume that Jack's gonna have a compass at every single crossroads. So um we almost have to split the vote if we want to go after Jack, but now Randy could have something too. Um because he's coming back. I'm gonna have to get to know him. Zianya and David didn't speak too highly of him in the sense of like wanting to work with him. Um he definitely stood out on like day zero before we had our original party assignments coach and fishback uh he stood out because he was just very talkative very like leading the conversation um so that's going to be an interesting energy to work with since i felt like the green party as we were kind of like shared equal conversation maybe laura was a little bit quiet but once you get her one-on-one -on -one, she's actually you know really great and talkative um but this was like the first time I got to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people. Uh, still have not had a one-on-one -on -one with Mike, uh, which would have been good to know to figure out that he had to steal a vote and maybe could have told him how to play right. Um, but, you know, we just kind of have to roll with the punches now. Now we've got four from Green Party, Jack from the Red Party, Randy from the Black Party uh, is one way to look at it. The other way is we've got still have... Uh, four of us from OG Coach, and now there's two from um, from OG Fishback. There's a lot of ways to slice this. We have to figure out who is going to be best for your game moving forward. Um, and right now, I'm actually feeling really good about David. Um, I think he and I play a similar game, which means that I can't be too closely aligned with him for too long. But I think we kind of both understand where we're at. I don't think we're going to make any long-term promises to each other, but I think we could be useful to each other in the short term. Um, so, you know, I, I would like to keep him around. I would like to keep Mike around. And, and right now I'd like to keep Lori around. Um, I do think I have to try to get back on Jack's good side, but here's the thing. Like I was in a, from the original, like the first vote, I was in a room with Madison, Jack and I, and we all said Jessica, Jessica was the name we landed on. And then Jack voted for Cole. So he did not fulfill his end of the bargain there. So like first round of trust broken that I just voted for him, which is like arguably a bigger <laughs> way to break someone's trust. But like, we've both lied to each other we've both done something other than what we initially said to each other and that i'm hoping for he is willing to then look at and say like fine okay clean slate like i couldn't have gone against the original group he didn't tell me about his compass like we could have done anything with it i don't know he's like a really savvy guy so like it's gonna be hard to like straight up lie to him but um and like play him because yeah, i know he's gonna be playing me right back 
but that's just kind of the mindset I need to go into having conversations with him. Um, Cause he makes me nervous, but he also, it also feels like he's like looking for a home. He does not have one yet. No one really talked strategy with him at the first vote, uh, except Jess who wound up going home at the very last second. And then this time like, I, he spent a lot of time alone and now like i'm now gonna think like if someone's alone like why the hell was i sitting alone like in a room given a confessional when i should be looking for the fucking compass like i'm an idiot because now jack has it um but now i just know like, if people are, are alone like they're not spending their time how i'm spending my time and i should not be spending my time the way i have spent my time um we only have a set number of hours a day to play this game and i need to be like I need to like get on my shit and make sure that I can get to the end of this game and win. I'm not even going to talk about anything else. I hate this. Okay. I hate this. This is the second compass I played at the second crossroads I played. And this time he was right. And I was the sole vote to send Zianya, who was surely spreading bad about me home. I got my revenge on her and so I'm happy but now I'm in a bad spot because now yet again I am without a compass <laughs> my trusty friend <laughs> I have now found three advantages two compasses and the captain picking advantage and good god I've only used one correctly <laughs> I've only used that one compass correctly I'm in I'm in shambles, dude. Literal shambles. These people, I don't think they don't like me. I just think that they think I'm too much of a threat to them. When are people gonna realize that if I am dead alone in this game, I'm not a threat at all? Like, I'm not a threat. People have just been throwing me under the bus in this game. Time after time after time after time. I don't get a break. You know, I don't get a chance to say my mind. I don't get a chance to, I don't get a chance. And I feel so un, I feel so ceremoniously screwed by the world. Like they could throw the challenge tomorrow. If they want, they could throw the challenge tomorrow if they wanted to. They could really just do bad on purpose so I could go home. They could do everything. The only reliance I have on this game is a compass. I have nothing else. Nothing. And I don't even have a compass. I gotta go find another one. I have no protection anymore. I'm just dead in the water. I've tried countless times to make bridges, to make bonds, and they fail. They fail. I'm not offering people names because I'm sure as hell not gonna just throw myself further under the bus, but you know, fuck it, I guess. <laughs> um, the reason why I voted Zianya number one was revenge. I just, she, she idled me out in the org we played, so now I get to idle her out myself. Um, that's number one. But number two, I stuck to every promise I made tonight. I made, th I made three promises. To David, I said, I do not want to vote for you. I did not vote for David. I told Mike, I did not want to vote for Mike. I did not vote for Mike. And I told Greg, I want to stay OG party strong. I voted out Deontay. If that is not sticking to promises and showing loyalty, I don't know what is. Because at this point, I've shown everything that I can be a good ally. And maybe at this point, I'm just so much of a threat that they don't even care. That I'm just cannon fodder because I am too good at this. I don't even have an opportunity. They just want me gone over and over and over again. This is the second time my name's been thrown out and the second time that my name's been written down and I have six votes for me and they all don't count right now because I've played compasses at the two crossroads I've been to. I don't want to go to a third. I want to find a compass, 
be safe. I want to get out of this hellhole, and I want time to bond with my party. I need that time, or else it's just going to be fucking deja vu. I'm going to be targeted again and again and again and again and again and maybe again. I'm just on the bottom all the time here. I don't have anybody except for Kivon on the other tribe. That's all I have in this game. I have nobody else. I am literally alone. And it is going to take miracle work for me to stay in without a compass. So I'm looking for that compass tomorrow. It, it'll be there. I'm hoping at least it'll be there. But I can't rely on compasses. I got to stay here. I uh, just making sure that my tribe mates won't vote me for, for me again, so, yeah. All right, well, I didn't do an unfiltered, unfiltered thoughts last time because I didn't need to, and uh, now I do because I have so much to talk about. I don't even want to talk about the challenge. I don't want to talk about um, what happened um, after the challenge. I don't even want to talk about the strategy of a big vote or anything. I talked about that in my actual confessional. I just want to talk about how I feel so fucking alone on this tribe, and alone in this game. My two friends in this game have been Compasses and Kivan. That's it. I've had no one else. Everybody sees me as this just super ultra mega threat, probably. You know, I got immediately instilled with distrust early on in the game, and it carries here. So. I don't know what I could have done. Like, I could have lied. I told people, well, yeah, I'm just a business major. But, does it matter? <laughs> Would I still be targeted anyway? I've been honest. I haven't lied. I've been truthful this entire game, and people have just thrown me out in the wind. Throw me out. Because they don't even want me here. They think I'm too much of a threat or they just don't trust me or whatever i don't know if they think i'm too much of a threat there's nothing i can do now there's literally nothing i can do now except i am the biggest shield that money can buy and if you keep me i am loyal i will vote with you and i will protect you because everyone has gone after me and they're going to keep going after me so if you use me i'm an asset so I'm done playing passive. I did not want to play my second compass tonight, and I knew within the first five minutes of going uh, into strategy, I knew I had to play it. And I hated it. I did not want to waste another opportunity uh, of having something good and then just losing it. But here I am, lost it. Pissing me off, man. It does. I like. <sighs> I have so much I can give as a partner in this game, as an alliance member in this game. I fight for people. I might put my ass on the line for people. I do well in challenges to help our party. I am resourceful. I think everyone likes me. I just think that they cannot work with me. So I'm done playing passive. Because I'm counting my blessings now. Finding that second compass was lucky. Finding the third will be even luckier. I'm counting my blessings here. Because... I, if I play passive, I'm just going to get dogpiled on again. And so I cannot play that way anymore. I have to shoot for the stars or die trying. And I did not want to play that way. I wanted to lay low and relax, make an alliance, do all that good stuff. And yet here I am on the bottom again. So I'm done playing passive. 
I'm gonna tell Lori that everybody was willing to vote her out. There's an alliance of four of Cole, Mike, Greg, and um, fucking Madison that all voted Jessica before they were gonna vote me. And then Mike and Greg were totally cool with letting me go. And everybody just kind of followed suit in this vote. So yeah, I may be directed as well. I am putting the fork, I am putting the pitchfork down in this game. I'm not, I'm done playing passive. I'm done letting the game come to me and then having to protect myself because I am the easiest vote. I'm done with that. I'm taking an active approach and I'm gonna start using those brutish tactics. I didn't want to this early. Like I didn't wanna, I did not wanna use those super hardcore scare tactics, just be evil, be forceful, all of that. Like I didn't want that at all. I didn't wanna be that. But I also don't want to keep compassing myself every single tribal, uh, every single crossroads because I've done it twice, and I might do it a third if I find another. But I'm done. I cannot rely on compasses in this game, as much as they're great. I cannot rely on them, and so I need allies. I need numbers. I, I need people. My best chance is basically selling out my old tribe. Selling them out. I tried to appeal to Mike's kindness. I tried to appeal to all of that, and it didn't work. Mike's got a steal vote now that I know is good. Um, so he could definitely just use it at the next tribal council or crossroads. But <sighs> power of persuasion can change people. David and Randy, I need them. They need me, or else they're going to get devoured. I plan to drop this bomb. If I plan to drop this bomb, um, regardless tomorrow, that there is that alliance. I know it's a fact because they all stuck together the first vote and they all basically led the charge against me this vote. They are together and that's not changing. And so I need to gather my coalition here, get up my numbers and take a stand and get rid of those fuckers. Mike and Greg have targeted me twice and voted for me once, no longer, okay? I've been playing peaceful. I've been playing where I don't target my original party, um, except for the red party, but we didn't go to Crossroads, so it didn't matter. Um, I have been very good at keeping myself loyal to my original party and keeping myself as trustful and as honest as I can be, and that hasn't worked. So I'm going to rat them out, and instead, I'm going to play active. Now they could very easily just vote me out at the next crossroads, and I could go home, and all of it would have been for nothing, and then maybe next time I'll lower my threat level a little bit more. But no way in hell am I just going to sit down and let the game dictate me. I can't anymore. It's so dumb. I need to take an approach. So here's the approach. David and Randy might not be on the same page in terms of numbers, but I need them. They can't stay Green Party strong because then it's true. That other tribe will target them. And I know that for a fact because that's what the Red Party was talking about. I'm not loyal to party lines anymore. If you need me and if I need you, I will damn well work with you. So I... I'm going to expose the red party. I am going to expose them and be like, oh yeah, they were planning on teaming up with the black party at the, at the rendezvous and taking out the green party. So if you guys stay together and vote me out, they are going to stick together as well. And then even then you're more screwed because if I can go into this rendezvous with David, Randy and Lori, and then I have Jenny and Kivon, that is six. And it's already final 12. So I have a chance already. I need them on my side. And so I'm gonna convince David and Randy and be like, look, I have no one in this game and I feel like you guys have the same. I don't have anybody. I am a shield for you. I'm gonna literally say, I am a shield for you. 
It's worked for me before. If I tell people that I am a shield for you, I will take all the hit, I'll take all the heat, I will take all the blame, I will do all of it for you so that you can play your game and do whatever the fuck you want and I'll just sit in front and take all the votes and all the heat on me because I'm such a threat. Use me. Do not lose me because I'm going to scare them this next time. I'm going to scare them next time regardless. If we lose, I'm saying, hey, Randy, can we go talk in a private room? Hey, David, can we go talk in a private room? I'm flipping the tribe myself because I have no choice. So I am going to convince David and Randy the facts, which is that they are going to get fucked come the merge, come the rendezvous, especially David. Randy does not have as many people as he thinks. He is a threat. People have talked about him as this social guy. I've been thrown under the bus, but Randy has too. And David might be screwed going into that rendezvous. He might be. And then you got Lori. Oh, sweet Lori. Lori might as well just vote for me and keep old party lines intact, but I don't give a fuck. Because I'm going to convince Lori that she's on the outs of her party. We were all going to vote her out at that first crossroads. So me and her are not in a dissimilar position. Lori can use me to go far in this game. She can use me like a fiddle. And carry me along so that she can get the win in the end. Because there's no way in hell I'm making it to the end now, right? No way in hell. So if they use me and then take me out... It's a great strat, and it could work. I cannot convince these people. They cannot convince themselves that I am that. They cannot convince themselves that I'm big enough of a threat and big enough of a shield to be a good ally. They cannot convince themselves because they don't think so. And so they cannot convince themselves because they don't think so. And so here ain't, here we are. I have to do the work and I have to convince them. And if it doesn't work, I pray to God I find another compass because I'll just whip that one out again and again and again. I've been a target this entire game for most people in this game and I am fed up with the shit. I have a chance. David, Randy, Lori. I have a chance. I'm not going to squander it. You know, one of my mottos in games is um, there's only up to go. And there is. Because I am so fucking down low in the abyss of Tartarus that literally anything to benefit my game will benefit my game. So I have every which way to get back. So I'm going to hand them my game on a silver platter and be like, you decide. Take me out and be settled with how you play this game or let's change it. Use me. It's a tough sell. Nobody trusts me. Or maybe they want to trust me, but they just think I'm so big of a threat that it doesn't matter. I've had to play these compasses because I've had to survive. Not because... I can play them and make big moves. I had to survive. I haven't had a choice. And so if they are going to continue to say that I'm this big threat and that I deserve to go now, what's going to happen later in the game when they realize that they should have used me to get ahead in this game? There's a storm coming now. I'm not sitting and doing a cold war anymore i'm doing a hot war i'm going gung-ho after mike and greg and i'm going gung-ho after that alliance i'm done sitting around and letting them dictate this game and send me home or try to i'm done with that shit and so i'm gonna do it myself goodbye Hi there, this is Lori and this is my day five confessional. So today we had another swap, um, which luckily everyone that wound up on the new black party was all of my former teammates from the green party. 
um, with the addition of Jack. Um, everything went great. Thought we did pretty good in the exemption challenge. Um, but we still lost and we wound up at Crossroads tonight. So it was crazy. Um, we all did some talking prior to going to Crossroads and everyone was on the same page that since Jack wasn't from the original Green Party that all of our votes were going to go towards Jack. In the back of our minds, we all knew that if there was a chance that he had an advantage, um, that whoever he voted for would be the one that would go home tonight. So um, we we all said our piece, and all of the questions were asked and everything at um, at Crossroads, and it didn't look like he was going to have a compass. And then all of a sudden, he whipped one out, and lo and behold, all five of our votes from the former Green Party went towards Jack. Um, so none of those votes counted, obviously. And exactly what I thought could happen did happen, and was that whoever he voted for would go home, which was Zianya. It was sad to lose her. But not only did Jack whip out the compass, but Mike played a, well, he attempted to play a still a vote advantage to nullify Jack's vote, but the advantage that he had was not an advantage that could be played um, at that particular point in um, Crossroads. So he wasn't able to use it, therefore Jack's vote counted, and Zianya was the one that was deserted tonight. So um, I don't know how things are going to go tomorrow, but um, it looks like um, Jack being on the new party that is now the Black Party is going to mix things up a little bit. So we'll have to see what the strategy is going forward. Um, but Greg did tell me that Jack wanted to work with Greg and Mike and himself. So um, there may be a, an alliance for many of the four of us. So we'll see where it goes from here. For now, good night. Thanks. Oh my gosh. I am a silly mf -er. Um Oh, I totally botched Crossroads today. At the end of the day, I'm safe. Do a little Dragon Slayer ah, for Coach. But, <laughs> oh my gosh, what a dummy. First off, I found an advantage, or I, I earned an advantage. It's an extra vote, not a steal of vote. I voted for Jack, and I was okay with maybe one of them going home because Jack still likes me and we can maybe work together. So not only did I vote for Jack, and he's safe now, and I risked my five were safe, and he went home. Now, he probably won't trust me because I tried to steal his vote, which doesn't exist. I got nervous, thought I had to steal a vote, didn't read the rules, tried playing it against him. You have to play it before, and on top of it, I don't even have one. I'm in shock. Like, I've played multiple orgs. i played live games. I usually have my shit together. This was like the ultimate botch job. <laughs> and all I could do is laugh. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. I feel really bad for Zianya. She's gone. We still have the numbers. We have me, David, Greg, and Lori. Okay, that's four. They know I was willing to use an advantage for them. Even though I'm a complete moron and totally botched that, so embarrassing. <laughs> but we have the numbers, and if we want, we could take out Jack, who seems to be like a freaking knight in shining armor. Nobody could take this guy down. I mean, this guy is just a beast. He finds advantages. He stays alive. I mean, this dude is finding advantages, and it's only day five. He's found two. 
So this guy needs to go home ASAP. And what really sucks is now I'm kind of on his shit list. So if this new guy, Randy and um, Jack team up, maybe I'm a target now. And that's really concerning. But if we just stay strong, me, David, Greg, and Lori, I'm not budging on Greg and Lori. David, I think David is really strong with Greg. I think that's going to kind of butt into something. So I'm hoping that I'm involved in that. But yeah, I'm just like really pissed off at myself. Like if this was the real show, I would be getting blown up on Twitter. I mean, my name would be trending. People in Michigan would be going on Twitter and said, who the hell is Mike? I mean, this was bad and really embarrassing, but it's just a game. I'm going to learn for this. I'm going to spin it. I'm going to say, yeah, I got to steal a vote. I'm willing to see. I'm willing to use it for you guys. So I'm not a threat to Lori, Greg, David. I'm not going to be a threat to them because I was willing to use it on them. And it's going to come to a point if I keep making it further where they think I have a steal a vote, but it's going to be an extra vote. So I'm going to try to spin this. I'm going to stay positive. I'm going to laugh this off. It's going to be really embarrassing for Jack to be dead serious, uh, me and him, because he likes me and um, he wasn't going to vote me. Um, but yeah, it's kind of right in the moment. And I'm trying to think of a way how Jack would have gone home still using an idol. Um, but it, we'd be willing to vote off one of our own. And that was kind of shitty, but we could have protected. I don't even know. My brain's kind of all over the place right now. Jack's a beast. He's not nothing to be played around with. Yeah. He uses idol incorrectly the first time, but he still found it, found this one played amazing. Yeah. Silly, really silly. I mean, whatever. We'll live to see another day. It's just a survivor game for fun. But yeah, I'm a fool. <laughs> just for now. I'm gonna redeem, I'm gonna redeem myself. I'm a confident player. I'm gonna learn from this and move on. But let's have some fun. I'm still alive. Let's win tomorrow. But honestly, let's get freaking Jack out of here because I want to go to the merge with people that know I'm willing to use a steal of vote for them. <laughs> ah! What a dummy. Love you guys. Bye. Uh, I am still reeling from last night, but I am still in expedition online season five. Oh, and we are heading into day five <clears throat> and I'm nervous. Um, literally the past couple of nights, Robbie, Simona, and myself have been speaking about every scenario heading into tonight. Uh, maybe we could be swapping back to our original parties. Perhaps we are getting to the rendezvous. <clears throat> I always say that word wrong. Perhaps we are getting to the rendezvous. Perhaps, you know, we don't know what to expect. Maybe we're just staying in the parties. And if that's the case, we cannot lose the challenge, the exemption challenge. We cannot lose that because we want to move forward as a tight three. And Robbie and myself want to move forward as a tighter two. That's all we've been talking about. Robbie felt a little sad that I said that Simona and him were on equal playing ground in terms of who I trusted the most. And should I have said that? No, that was probably a huge flaw in my game, but I did. I wanted to be honest with him. And I hope that that proves moving forward that I'm 1000% honest with him and we can work together. <clears throat> and I hope Simona can, you know, work with us as well. So we get to the challenge and we found out that two people actually found a, an advantage, if you even want to call it that, we are swapping again. And these two people are the captains. I already forgot who they were. I know Jack was one of them. And I forgot who the other one was because I was just so, like, mind blown. Like, what? What? We are swapping again? Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> so my first thought, please put me with Robbie and Simona. Please keep us together. Uh, this is something we didn't even think about, that we might not be together. We were thinking we were either going to all come together or go back to the original Fishback Tribe. One person, there's 13 people left. One person is not going to get selected and then that person's going to go on an adventure. Um, that person was me. Uh, and I get to go to the summit with Janet and I'm excited to see Janet and say, hey, you were right. I felt safe and secure and I obviously wasn't and I was about this close to going home. What does she have in store for me this time? <clears throat> it's another 
prisoner's dilemma type situation. She's got two cups. One of them has a compass. The other one has a lose a vote. I played it safe last time. I could have played it safe here again and said, no, I don't want to participate in this. But I didn't. I got to risk it because I don't know what party I'm going to join up with later at the crossroads. Whichever party lost the challenge, I'm joining that party. I don't even know who is going to be there with me. <clears throat> so I was taught growing up to listen to your mother. And I had my mother in the other room and I asked her which cup to select. She agreed with me to go with the right. And I got a compass. <laughs> I don't have anything really to hold, but I, a compass. Oh, I'm so happy because I would have never found one. Uh, never. But I now hold one. And then the rest of the night, I was just waiting until the crossroads. And once we got to the crossroads, I found out that it was the black party that went. And they've got a pretty good group. So from the original coaches party, it is Mike, Greg, Lori, and Jack. And from the original Fishback, you've got myself, Zianya, and David. Now, I had great conversations with Zianya and David back when we were on Fishback, but who knows what has happened while they've been on the Green Party. Five Green Party members, and then you have one uh, Red 2.0 Party member, and Jack. And I've heard about Jack and how he saved himself with a compass day one. <clears throat> and he does it again here. Five votes against Jack. He ne negates all of them with his compass, and he votes out my girl Zianya. Oh, I I was looking, I was looking forward to getting back with Zianya and working with her and David, and unfortunately, I won't get that opportunity. And now, if I look at the landscape of the party, you have four original members from Team Coach. And just two from Team Fishback. Now, they want to get Jack out a lot. They've been trying. <clears throat> but who knows? Jack apparently is a god at finding stuff. And he might have something else. Seems like he's really good at this. So, if they ask what I got at the crossroads, I am going to tell them I got something. Because if I say anything else, they're not going to believe me. I'm going to make up a truth and hope they believe that. I got to steal a vote. That's my plan moving forward. If they ask, I'm going to tell them I got to steal a vote. Same situation. One cup, lose a vote. One cup, steal a vote. I got to get with David, and I got to see where his head's at. If I get great positive vibes, maybe I inform David, but I don't know. I kind of want to keep my compass a secret <clears throat> until I get maybe back with Simona or Robbie. But moving forward, the numbers don't look great. So I'm hoping we can kind of win out until the rendezvous. That would be ideal. But I only have my compass for the next two crossroads that I attend. So if we can win a challenge, the challenge that's tomorrow, I don't have to use it. And then maybe win another challenge. I might not have to use it until the rendezvous. But even if we lose or if we win tomorrow and then go to the next one and I can use it just to get to like the final 10 that would be amazing but the game has turned and I love it oh I love this game but I'm nervous in my my spot in the game and I don't have a lot of options I'm gonna have to bring someone in with David and myself and hope that David still wants to work with me and hasn't moved on to one of the other guys here lies Zianya's hopes and dreams for Expedition Online. It's raining to match my mood. I'm just kidding, y'all. It was a great adventure, a great time. I'm so sad it came to a, such a quick close. But it's the game. It happens. Players who shouldn't go out, go out early because of compass plays and twists and whatnot. Um, so I guess let's back up a little bit. We get, I should have seen it coming. I should have freaking known. We get to the challenge and they're like, hey, we're gonna swap again. I'm like, great, fantastic, fantastic. So Jack was our captain and he picked 
Mike, who picked Greg, who picked David, who picked me, and then I picked Lori. So what does that mean? The entire Green Party's together. Yay! We're sticking together. We love each other, right? However, there's the Jack of it all, and we already know Jack went and played a compass at the first crossroads that he was at. So logic goes that he probably would do something again if he had it, right? Especially realizing he's on the outs. So we do the challenge. I was part of the brain. Uh, Jack, Greg, and Lori were the brawn, and then David and Greg were the other brains. And so I just had a bad feeling. I knew, I knew that we weren't gonna get the best time. I knew the other party was gonna do better, and I just knew that it was our time. But I was like, you know what? It's fine, it's fine. We just stick together, right? And while we're talking, Jack is like, while we're back at camp, at base camp, um, Jack is just like acting like so defeated, like a kicked puppy. And he's all, oh, I don't know. I really could be helpful to you guys. Like, I don't know, just keep me around. I know that you guys are a party and you've bonded together and blah, blah, blah all this stuff. And I just should have freaking known. I, and I knew it, I knew it deep in my soul. This kid is up to no good. He's got something up his sleeve. Why is he not throwing out a name? If he is worried, why is he not throwing out a name? He didn't throw out a name to anybody according to what people told me. And I should have, I just knew, I just knew it, but everybody was like, no, it's fine, let's just vote him out. And I try to bring up the concern to multiple people like, hey, what if he has another compass? What if he plays it? That means whoever he decides to vote is the person that gets voted out. And I just had a sinking feeling like it's gonna be me. It's gonna be me because like, I don't know. I don't know what his reasons were. You know what, we'll get to that in a second. Anyway, so we go there and then he's like, you guys do it time and time again and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what are you talking about? This is my first time at Crossroads. Like, what do you mean we're doing it time and time again? This is my first time meeting you. Of course I was gonna vote you out, but, and I knew it, I knew it. We went and voted and like, I was the last person to vote and I had a split second where I was like, I should change my vote to someone else. I would have changed it to Lori because I knew that if it was a, between me and Lori, I was pretty confident that they would split, they would vote to keep me over Lori. But it was a catch 22 because it's like, let's say he had nothing and then they all voted him out and I was the one person to not vote with them. They're gonna find out one way or another that I was the person who didn't vote with everybody and that would cause tension. That would put a target on my back because it's like, oh, she's obviously willing to throw anybody under the bus, right? But I should have done it. I should have done it because I knew deep in my soul, something's not right here. Something's not adding up. I should have done it to protect myself. And I am so regretful that I didn't because, and this is the thing, it's like I always, I get to a point in the games where I know deep in my soul what the right thing to do is, but my heart takes over and it's just like, no, but like everybody's gonna be proving their loyalty and you need to prove your loyalty too. And it's like, no, be loyal to yourself first, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Ugh. That is my mistake every single time. You think I would learn it? I have not, I have not learned that lesson yet. Loyal to yourself and nobody else is how you win these, these games. And I've never won one and there's an obvious reason why. So it's a little disheartening and it's just like, I'd like to think the reason that I am the person that got voted out is because he recognized my threat level. He took a look at everybody else around him and said, who is the biggest threat to my game right now? Zianya, that makes perfect sense. However, let's talk about the fact that out of four people voted out so far, three of them have been women. Do I need to go on? Do I need to say anything else? Because like, I don't know. Obviously I don't want to think that's what it comes down to. And when I play the game, I play the game with players. I don't play the game with people based on race, gender, sexuality, age, anything if i think you are a good player if i think you are a valuable player i will play with you i don't care about anything else because that's what i'm looking for i'm looking for good players to team up with however there is a thing called implicit bias and it has been a war for me since joining the org community to kind of be like hey guys are you aware that this is a thing that's going on because the thing with implicit bias is it's not like people go out of their way to be biased and only work with people that look like them or come from similar places as them, but it ends up happening over and over and over again in every game I play 
people just stick with what they know. And you know, like that's human nature. That is perfectly okay, because that's what happens. But it's just like, I kind of want people to examine that in themselves a little bit more when they play these games. And maybe they don't have to spend so much time thinking about it, but I do because it affects every single game that I've played. <sighs> Anyways, I guess I'll get off my soapbox, but it just sucks. It really sucks to see that that's the pattern. And I swear to God, if another woman follows me out, I'm gonna I'm gonna set fire to <laughs> the pre jury room. Like, <laughs> I'm kidding. I won't do that. <laughs> but people will be hearing from me at the end of all of this if that's what happens. Um, because it's just not okay. Like, give people a chance. Don't, just give people a chance to prove themselves. And so, I don't know. I'm gonna stick with what I am thinking is that I was a threat, so I needed to be taken care of. Anything beyond that, whatever. He can explain that later or never. Probably never. But it's just frustrating. And I... I was in such a good position. I feel like I was on everybody's side. Everybody wanted to work with me. Multiple people told me yesterday when we're in rooms alone together, like, I wanna work with you. You seem really cool. You seem like really smart. You seem savvy, blah, 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 all this stuff, right? And it's just like, oh, I had the world in the palm of my hands. And then Jack came along and crushed all those dreams. So I feel like I've said enough. I feel like I've gone on and it's also getting cold, so I must go inside, but thank you to the production team for casting me, for giving me a chance. This has been such an incredible experience. I've had so much fun. I told them last night and I'll say it right now again, I would do it all over again, even if it meant the same outcome because I had so much fun. I met so many cool people. That's the thing is like in all of these games, I've never won a single time but I win every time that I play because I walk away with new friends, new people that I would have never met any other way, um, and new connections. And I also walk away learning something else about myself. So it's a constant win. Um, I would love to get the ultimate win one day, but now is not my time and that is okay. I hope someday I can come back and play again and prove my worth because I promise you guys I can do so much better than this, but for now, I'll just get comfortable in my grave. Love you, bye. I'm such a ditz, I forgot to thank a very important person, so here's my tack on to that. Um, thank you so, so much, Steven, for picking me for your party. I am so sorry that I failed you and I did not live up to my own high standards. <laughs> um, you know, I did what I could and I should have done better, but you live and you learn. Um, it has just been so incredibly amazing to be able to interact with Steven, ask him for advice. Cause like, I'm sure like everybody else, I would love to get on the real show someday. So I've gained a lot. I definitely lost, but I gained a lot and that's all that matters. So thank you to everybody involved. It has been a great time. Okay, so I'm, let me just readjust this. I'm feeling super sleigh boots, the house down, mama queen, hunty, all of that. Like the, the black party curse remains, which is good because it means that I don't have to go back to crossroads. Um, and I really like the people that are on my party and the people that I'm working with. I'm happy that I'm still on a party with Madison. I think she's the one person that consistently I've been able to work with. And I think we have good conversations. Um, so I'm happy that we still get to work together. I really like Lady K and Jenny. I'm feeling more comfortable with Lady K based on the conversations that we had today about, you know, thinking that Jack might be on the outs and how like our initial party was kind of all trying to get him. Um, Robbie and Simona are so sweet. Um, very sleigh boots, both of them. Uh, what does Robbie want to be called? Um, Squatty Slayana. Robbie is Squatty Slayana. And Robbie did squat and slay and boots the house down. This challenge, however, my God, was that painful. This challenge was not fun for Cole. And 
it is very interesting to me that in this space, I am a physical competitor. Because I really came in thinking that, oh, my social prowess is what's going to get me far and why I'm going to be a good resource, right? And why people might want to keep me around, right? Because I'm fun and like I keep it easy. But it's it's become interesting that my physical capabilities, which I think I might just be selling myself short, um, are what are helping to prove and provide in the context of the greater party. Uh, just thinking, just thinking, pondering, considering words to say at this point in time. Uh, I feel good, though. Uh, I still haven't had the chance to tell Madison that I do have the advantage of the steal a vote. I'm still debating if I want to tell her, not because I don't trust her, but because I know that knowledge is power in this game. And if people know that you have a potential leg up over them, then that can shoot you in the foot and that can really, really get you down. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that I can just continue to make it far and play a good game and just keep doing what I'm doing because I think I'm ha I'm just having fun and the challenges are stressful, but it just feels great that I'm able to be in the space that I am right now. Uh, with the people that with people that I like and I feel more comfortable with. Um, so moving forward, I think I'm just going to keep slaying the boots house down. Um, and like Lady Gaga says, bus, another bus, club, plane, no sleep, another club, another plane, another bus, all that. We're just going to keep going. Don't stop. Don't let up and eat. Continue to eat the competition. Well, 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 it is day five and day five went amazing again. Um, our party has done quite amazing. I still am one of the few that has not gone to Crossroads yet, which is really exciting. Um, I hope that doesn't make me a target down the road, but um, I definitely like that. Uh, we did amazing at the challenge. Um, I feel maybe Lori, maybe Jack, maybe going home, who knows, um, from the, um, black party. I'm not sure. Um, it doesn't really make sense. Jack was first to pick, so he may have some other alliance with, um, his original coach team. Um, and maybe that was what he was going with. Uh, it'll be neat to see who does go. Um, but I'm not sure. Um, loving the challenges. Everything has been so much fun. This is like a dream come true to be on here. Honestly, it's very fun. Um, love the social part of it. Um, definitely my brain is always thinking strategically throughout the whole thing. Um, I feel right now we have a fairly good, well-rounded party and I don't feel anybody is really on the down side. It would be a hard thing to pick if we do end up going to crossroads at some point soon. Um, I'm guessing we're going to end up in a merge here in the next couple days. I'm not sure. That's just a guess. Um, maybe not. Maybe we'll wait till we're a little dwindled down farther. I'm not sure. Um, excited. We love to kind of come up with what we think the challenge is going to be each day, which is kind of fun. And um, we all kind of try to keep our, our um, party the red party all, you know, in, in the same loop. So, you know, practicing anything or what we think might happen or, um, Lady K and I were doing some trivia and just kind of writing it in our chat. Now, of course that chat's gone, but that's okay. Um, hopefully it's helping other people that may not have the time or the, I don't know. I, I, when I'm in, I go all in. So I'm all in. I'm, this is pretty much my dedication right now to, to this game. Um, everything else is kind of on the back burner. <laughs> um, and luckily I have a couple of weeks off of, um, nannying. I have kids next week. So those days I'll obviously be a hundred percent with those guys, which I'm excited to have them again. But, um, but yeah, so anyways, off topic. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, so hopefully we can keep, um, slaying our challenges and rocking it like we have been. And uh, we just stay away from crossroads. It sounds miserable. So hopefully at least till 
we make a merge. Maybe I get lucky. Um, thank you. Have a good night. Well, 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 it is day five and day five went amazing again. Um, our party has done quite amazing. I still am one of the few that has not gone to Crossroads yet, which is really exciting. Um, I hope that doesn't make me a target down the road, but um, I definitely like that. Uh, we did amazing at the challenge. Um, I feel maybe Lori, maybe Jack, maybe going home, who knows, um, from the, um, black party. I'm not sure. Um, it doesn't really make sense. Jack was first to pick, so he may have some other alliance with, um, his original coach team. Um, and maybe that was what he was going with. Uh, it'll be neat to see who does go. Um, but I'm not sure. Um, loving the challenges. Everything has been so much fun. This is like a dream come true to be on here. Honestly, it's very fun. Um, love the social part of it. Um, definitely my brain is always thinking strategically throughout the whole thing. Um, I feel right now we have a fairly good, well-rounded party and I don't feel anybody is really on the down side. It would be a hard thing to pick if we do end up going to crossroads at some point soon. Um, I'm guessing we're going to end up in a merge here in the next couple days. I'm not sure. That's just a guess. Um, maybe not. Maybe we'll wait till we're a little dwindled down farther. I'm not sure. Um, excited. We love to kind of come up with what we think the challenge is going to be each day, which is kind of fun. And um, we all kind of try to keep our, our um, party the red party all, you know, in, in the same loop. So, you know, practicing anything or what we think might happen or, um, Lady K and I were doing some trivia and just kind of writing it in our chat. Now, of course that chat's gone, but that's okay. Um, hopefully it's helping other people that may not have the time or the, I don't know. I, I, when I'm in, I go all in. So I'm all in. I'm, this is pretty much my dedication right now to, to this game. Um, everything else is kind of on the back burner. <laughs> um, and luckily I have a couple weeks off of, um, nannying. I have kids next week. So those days I'll obviously be a hundred percent with those guys, which I'm excited to have them again. But, um, but yeah, so anyways, off topic. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, so hopefully we can keep, um, slaying our challenges and rocking it like we have been and uh, we just stay away from crossroads it sounds miserable so hopefully at least till we make a merge maybe I get lucky um, thank you have a good night okay so so much has gone on like this is mayhem do y'all hear me like it's crazy in Monteverti like bring the holla monkeys back or a coconut or some rice because it's bananas it's bananas we thought that we were going to have an endurance comp last round and i'm thinking like okay i gotta no actually we thought we want to have a trivia so i'm studying 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 no trivia we have a scavenger hunt i did pretty good for the scavenger hunt but i did not win but 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 our party was safe so we didn't lose anybody come back and who's gone holden Holden was gone. I was totally off balance with Holden because I thought Robbie, Holden, and Randy were locked in as a solid trio. Come to find out that really Holden was a firecracker and he couldn't keep his mouth shut. And I really think a lot blew up between him and Robbie after. He okay, so how did I find out about Robbie? Uh, back it up, back it up, back it up. We get on tonight and we're thinking it's another endurance comp. It was this time, but guess what happened? Well, it was more like a relay. Guess what happened? We switched traps again and I finally freaking get an edge. I got the edge. I'm thinking I'm going to be safe. We're good. I'm not going to have to stay in this endurance comp for long, but what's my edge? What is my edge? Me and my Number one, get split because he's seen it the same time as I see it. So now Jack is the leader. 
for another team, another party, and I'm the leader for another party. And we have to do a cherry pick. <sighs> Why? Why? I took time to build that relationship with him. I'm so upset. So, he's over there. The one thing that everybody doesn't know is that he has an idol. So, hopefully, he's wise enough to know that if he's in jeopardy, that he plays it. And if he... I just does, I don't want him to go. I don't want him to go. I really feel like we made a bond. But I do think he's in jeopardy of being over there with Greg and Mike. The good thing is, though, both Cole and Madison think I voted with them. But I voted to get Cole out. And let me be absolutely freaking clear. I'm still coming for Cole. He had his name, my name, and his mouth first go round. So if you're not with me, you're against me. Yay, he may have changed, but I still don't trust him because I'm not his number one. I believe that's Madison. So the new Red Tribe is I picked Jenny. Uh, Jenny picked Cole. Cole picked Madison. Madison picked Robbie. Robbie picked Simona. That's the new side for red um we had a really good chat we didn't break up let's be completely honest i am so tired of sitting in these big old group chats like i want to break off and have some conversations but it's so hard like you don't want to seem like you're playing hard you don't want to seem like you're not being uh, a member of the party but i need to start building some bonds and i simply just can't do this sitting in this group with everybody so it's almost like i don't want to go to crossroads but crossroads make you scramble they make you talk they make you be able to get into people's head and you just simply can't do this sitting at base camp talking to other everybody so who knows what tomorrow brings i I still don't want to go to crossroads, but I really do want to be able to start talking to people and me not make the first move, right? So we'll see what happens. Until next time, I'm still here. I cannot believe it. Final 12. Let's go. I smell the rendezvous coming around the corner. Let's go. Okay, so it is day five, I believe, and we competed in a competition. And we won, yet again, because we are just too good. Red stays ahead, um, if you know, you know. <laughs> um, channeling that gaga energy, as Cole would say. Um, I got put on the jigsaw puzzle, and honestly, I was a little bit worried because it did take me four minutes. Um, I feel like that was the longest. Maybe Cole's push-ups took the same amount of time. But I can't believe that we won by four minutes. Like, that. that is literally crazy crazy i have no idea what they're gonna do the black team that is um obviously i hope it's jack i <laughs> i feel like i just have this strong vendetta against jack i think jack's a great person however i do not like his game i think his game is a little bit sneaky like i've mentioned before he's super smart i mean cybersecurity and acting um i mean I, my background is in acting too so i really can't say much but I mean, if he's majoring in it, that obviously means he's pretty good at it, which means he's also pretty good at lying. So today was pretty okay. I mean, just talking around camp. I wish we would break off more, but I'm not going to be the first person to be like, hey, so-and-so, you want to come for a chat? Uh, that just puts a big old red X on my back. So hopefully everything goes good tomorrow and we kill it. <laughs> Let's get into some things. Oh my gosh. So apparently being on your knees gets things done. <laughs> That's terrible. But no, seriously, the expedition gods have smiled upon me and we swapped off of the black party. Thank you, lords. <laughs> Whoever was responsible for that, big shout out to you. Oh my gosh, I was so happy because I thought that I would have been a goner if we went back to Crossroads last night as the Black Party. So, truly, I'm eternally grateful. Now, you know, while the Expedition God smiled up on me, they kind of spit on me at the same time because I was swapped into a minority. But, 
I'm swapped into a minority with the people that I want to work with. So I got really good vibes from Cole. I got really good vibes from Lady K. I got really good vibes from Madison. And then there's Ginny. I, as y'all know, I don't want to work with Ginny. Um, I am willing to work with Ginny, but that's, you know, another story. I'm willing to work with anybody at this point. And I'm with um, my girl, Simona. So Simona and I still haven't had a chance to, like, chap it up or whatever. But um, we are swapped into a minority together. And Simona supposedly has the compass. So, with that being said, I thought of a cracked idea. Um, listen, I've never done crack before, <laughs> but I'm a little cracked sometimes. So, here's my plan. If I could pull off a brilliant 3-2-1 tonight, if we have to go to Crossroads, that is the plan. So, as much as I want to win, we won last night, so it just felt so good to just chill and and talk with everybody and just get to know my new party. It was so nice, and because Simona was flying back from Oregon, um, Simona was in a bathroom at an airport, Simona was in an Uber, Simona was had a fire alarm going off in her background, so... I was able to make a great first impression, at least I think. You never want to be the loudest person in the room. You never want to talk the most. I try not to do those things, but listen, I had to let the girls see me. You know what I mean? I had to let the girls hear me. <laughs> because I don't need to be, you know, faster than the bear. I just need to be faster than the person with a compass. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's where this 3 to one comes into play. So, here's my plan for tonight. Shall we go to... Should we go to Crossroads? So, I'm going to go directly to my girl, Madison. I'm going to say, Madison, please. We had such good chemistry in our short time together. I truly am a loyal person. Let me prove to y'all that I want to work with y'all. Like, listen, please do not <laughs> let them vote me out here. I am better for your game than Simone. If it's going to come down to... OG tribal lines like four the four original or the four reds, which consist of Cole, Lady K, Jenny, and Madison versus Simone and I. I need to get the votes on Simona so Simona can play her compass. And I'm going to vote with Simona. So here's ideally how tonight shall go. If if the four of them decide to break off and talk amongst themselves, I'm going to let Simona know. Here's my plan. I fully plan on telling that I'm going to vote for you, but we need to decide on a person now. Ideally, Cole. As much as I like Cole, we know that Cole has an advantage that he got from the summit with Janet. So, let's vote Cole tonight. I will vote with you. I'm going to tell them that I'm willing to vote for you. I'm actually, here's the plan. I'm not going to tell them that I'm willing to vote for you, but if they ask me, I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to truly, fully use the power, the finesse, that is West Finesse, Robbie Harris, whatever you want to call me. And I'm going to finesse them into truly, truly, truly believing. I will vote Simona with you. But I'm going to vote Simona. I'm going to vote Cole with Simona. And here's how it's going to play out. I'm going to tell them to prove to y'all that I'm truly with y'all. One of you can even put your vote on me so that when we all vote Simona, if Simona has a compass, which I don't think she does, but if Simona has a compass, it would be one vote on whoever Simona votes for and then one vote on me, and then y'all would just vote me out on the revote. Like, that's how much I'm showing y'all that I trust y'all right now. But then if there's three votes on Simona, me and Simona's two votes together on Cole, and then that one vote on me... It's a brilliant 3 to one with somebody else's compass that I don't even possess. But I'm going to take into account for my plan type deal. And I hope Simona's down for that. If Simona is not down for that, then I guess, you know, screw me. But I truly think that's the way that we get out of this round if we go back to Crossroads. Now, does that piss off a lot of people? Yes. At that point, if we have to go back to Crossroads, because I have to think about these things, I've been put in some tough situations, so I've taken everything into you know, account, right? If we go back to Crossroads and I've pissed them off because I voted with Simone. Look, y'all have to understand, it was four of y'all, two of us. We just went through a lot together, but now we have to vote out Simona because she did the slide puzzle in 17 seconds. She has a compass play under her belt. She's the bigger threat here. Um, so let's vote her out and then get me to the rendezvous <laughs> so that I can see where I can go that round. And listen, I am a loyal player. I like to play with people that I want to play with. If it doesn't come down to that, great. But at the end of the day, I can't be loyal to you if I'm not in the game. 
I can't do anything if I'm not in the game. So at that point, I have to do what I have to do to get to the next round. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to throw away my game being too loyal to someone else. I've done that before. That is over with. Um, so that is my plan for tonight. Hopefully we don't have to go back to Crossroads and we can survive this. Um, but again, I think I played last night pretty well. Um, I have to say the order of the picking of the parties was very interesting. So Lady K was a captain and Jack was a captain. So Lady K picked Jenny first. Huge red flag. I was like, hmm, you picked Jenny before you picked people from your original party. That lets me know. I'm not saying Jenny's name. Like, y'all are clearly close. Jenny is not with Fishback anymore. And listen, I don't even see it as Fishback and Coach at this point. This is just, who do you want to work with? Like, everybody is great. So, like, relying solely on Fishback and Coach is dead. Like, I feel like Randy, Simone, and I are the only ones that could be like, oh, Fishback strong or whatever, because that's all we know. We haven't had a chance to bond with people the, the last two rounds because we were going back to back to back crossroads and it's like i i understand that which is why i can't play the game fishback strong am i going to just target fishbacks of course not i'm just saying i'm going to play the game fluidly because that's what makes sense with the cards that i have been dealt up to this point um i feel like i've had to play a little harder than i'd like in the beginning um and if, if, listen, if I could pull off this 3 to one with somebody else's compass while also putting the votes where I need them to go to get Simona and myself through this round, chef's kiss. Now, it's going to be a tough feat, but give me an hour with these girls and I got you. Hey guys, it's Simona. So not much happened today. Um, we swapped, thank God. That was really exciting. Um, Robbie, Randy, and I were basically the last picks, which is a little bit stressful. Um, it really does feel like we're our own tribe at this point, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so we were the last picks. Robbie picked me, so Robbie and I are on the same tribe, and Randy went to exile. Um, and so he joined the losing party. Um, and then we won, which means that Randy will be on the other side. And I think we're only going to have one more crossroads after tonight um, before the rendezvous. But I'm worried about Randy. I don't want him to leave. Um, Robbie and I still need to have some conversations. I get good vibes from everyone, but I didn't get to talk to anyone one-on-one. -on -one. So the reality is if we end up losing tomorrow... Um, I might have to play the compass, and if we end up winning tomorrow, I'm heavily considering giving it over to Randy, um, even though that'll paint a huge target on my back, but I'm really worried that Jack's gonna go home tonight because he's the only other really connection that I'm counting on having. David and Z, I have no clue what's going on with them, so Jack going home would be really upsetting um, and bad for my game just because that's been something I've counting on, been counting on, even though it's not, like, exactly fair, um, but... Yeah, I mean, thank God we won today. You know, I did the challenge in an airport bathroom, so I didn't get to talk much to people just because I was traveling, but I'm glad we won and that we didn't have to go to Crossroads. Hopefully this bodes well for the future.